Premier League, Group Stage Round of 32. Is bottom right hand corner. We are going to have the orange Terran player. Doesn't have a clan. Canary. And his opponent spawning. In the top left, cross spawns on Frost in pink from Team Anna Kendrick. Fat tire. Hmm. So I mean, platinum versus diamond here. Pretty sure you said count to ten, so I just been counting to ten in my head. But I, I can't even remember. I, I keep forgetting that I can't just talk over the loading screen. I'm I so know. I just sat that. here. I was like, I'm not going to interrupt. Yeah. <laughs> it was probably for the best. I think. I, I remember as soon as we got into the game, I had, like, had a little cry. I saw your heart. face. You're like... <sighs> <laughs> Ugh. Never mind. Never mind. So, yeah, I, I'm actually really interested to see how this plays out just because I think this is a, a good map. A really I good map. I think this is now advantageous for the Zerg player with that very long cross spawn. Mm, I'd have to agree with you though. I mean, drops are not so viable now, or they're just going to take forever. Hmm. And you never know where you're going to find an overlord that's going to say, oh, look at that, there's this uh, random medevac guy, so you have about two minutes before it gets here. So go ahead and get some units out. And <laughs> so, uh, it's, it's pointing stuff, just that, that level of scouting and map vision that you can gain on Frost, because Frost is one of those maps that actually still has Zelnaga Towers. Um, and that's not so much a complaint, just as an observation. We're seeing an increasing number of maps in the pool that don't have those anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and with those actually being there, and Zerg generally being the, the race that can hold the map vision to a greater extent, uh, that does favor Zerg defensively, especially in these yep. positions. He did go for the fast hatch. And mm. I'm looking to see. It looks like he went hatch before pool. It might have been about the same time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, hatch full pool, definitely. Um, no fast you see out of Canary, though. No, instead going straight up to factory and taking second gas. Mm -hmm. That's very unusual to see, to be honest. I'm really quite surprised by that. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I'm <laughs> expecting aggression out of him just based on this. Maybe Hellions run across the map, try to get map control. I think we're going to see uh, a Cloak Banshee rush um, because that's the only thing I can think of. When you have this much gas... That's the only thing you're gonna. You're use. right. You're right because I, you got to think about Hellions don't cost any gas. Yeah, um, mm. I would really like to see the tech lab go down on the factory or even have gone down on the barracks. But instead, Canary's doing something a little bit strange, a little bit funky. Was it? Is he? F That's an interesting one. Lifting up that barracks uh, to put down the tech lab in a slightly different location. Uh, it's nothing wrong with it. It's just a little bit strange. Normally, one would just build the starport in a better location in the first place. But um, either way, Canary going for this one-one-one build, and he'll probably follow it up with the heavy aggression, Ooh. and he'll go then into uh, command center afterwards, or he'll just go massively all in. <laughs> and his second factory is going down yeah. now. Yep. I'm thinking I would put Hellion? command center. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I mean, I would have had a command center too, but uh, I mean, he's just playing a very aggressive build here. I mean, there's no offensive units at the front door that's even going to be able to stop this one zergling. So he's just going to sit here and go, "Well, what can I see?" I'm actually going to click on him here, and he sees a starport. And he sees a tech lab. That's that's money right there. One zergling just got one great scout off. It is, and the even weird a bit, the starport is doing absolutely nothing. Yeah. It's sat there. And now he knows about the Hellions. <laughs> it's sat there on its tech lab. Th that's the first unit that Canary's made all game. He hasn't made Reapers to scout. He has no idea what's going on across his opponent's side of the map other than, you know, he saw an expansion and a gas be taken. So he really doesn't know what's going on over there. He doesn't know about the speed that's been complete, although it's reasonable to assume. He doesn't know if there's been a faster third. And he's really playing this pretty blind. Yeah, but you know what? I think Fat Tire's playing it right that he sees, okay, there's no CC. I saw a star report with a tech lab, and not a lot of units, and there's, I should not take a third base right now. 
Right now, I should be gearing up with two bases instead of taking that third, where if you had seen that CC, you probably would have gone ahead and taken it. So, as you can see, the Evo Chamber is going up there for a defense, defensive posture against Hellions. And force the wraparound. And he's got spore crawlers in both his main and his natural. So that'll help with the Banshees. And we got That's basically it. Reaper Hellion Banshee here. Yeah, but it's so weak and so light. He could... There's a more effective build than this, where you basically go CC first and then do this exact thing, and it turns up a tiny bit later, but with more stuff that actually does damage, rather than turning up with a bunch of Reapers for some reason. Reapers aren't really combat units. They're good tanking when you've got Hellions, but they don't really do any of this. Oh, dude, I've just been looking at the chat, and something we've totally missed, because it's like the most obvious thing in the world. He hasn't got Orbital. Oh my goodness, he hasn't still has it. I haven't even looked I, at that. I looked at that earlier, but I was like, oh, he's working on something else, so maybe he's going to do it in a second. And I just naturally assumed he was going to have it already. Yeah, yeah, you're right. There is no orbital, guys. No That's, orbital. Uh, this is really, really strange. And fatai has got spines. He's got queens back at home. He can hold this push, I think, fairly effectively with the links that he's got in production. And indeed, when the Banshee goes towards the main, the queen, look, the queens are just going to pick this off. Did he even get cloak for it? He didn't get, even get cloak. Oh my. I mean, this is just gonna get. That's it right there. <laughs> what that. just happened? Upper right hand corner. We're gonna have our Terran player. He's gonna be orange. Was he orange last time? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Alright, no clan. Canary. And his opponent, up one for Iowa in this best of three series, needing only one more game to take him again into the winner's match against, uh, oh god, I've forgotten his name, how embarrassing, against our Protoss, who has already proceeded, from Lucian. Team Anna Kendrick. Fat Tire. Yeah, well... Here we go now. Let's see if Canary can make this a 1 1 and take it to a rubber match with his very uh, unorthodox build there in that game number one. Or is this going to go to a straight 2 0 for Fat Tire? What do you think? I still favor Fat Tire. Uh, yeah, after that first game, so do I. <laughs> yeah, um, that was surprising what we saw there. And it made me think it's bizarre. Because what I saw was a Terran player who's incredibly nervous. Again, I think that he, however he feel or thought he felt or whatever, I don't know if you asked. Did you ask this one? What? Whoa, whoa, did you ask? You... Uh, did you ask Canary uh, how he felt about this tournament? Is he a, is he an experienced tournament player? Oh no, no, I didn't get a chance. No. He came into the chat room late. Well, I think he's. Uh, I think he is a little bit nervous, and I think he's making a few mistakes that perhaps he wouldn't make in ladder games because he has a positive win rate against Zerg normally, but not by doing that build. Not by doing that. It's not the way. Uh, this drone from Fat Tire is just compounding it as well because he's he's being annoying. He's trying to throw his opponent off, and he knows his opponent's a little bit shaken up anyway. Yeah, but but you see already the change. We want the fast marine. You know, and I mean, this is already completely different than last game. And the orbital, and even if you notice at the start of the game, Fat Tire said, don't forget your orbital. <laughs> yeah. Fat Tire even reminded him. So, I don't think he'll forget his orbital again. He's got his overlord in that good position right here. So, if the natural goes down, I'll have the timing, but not be spotted. Yeah. In this game, going for oh, a goodness. much more standard kind of thing. I, I really well, like that. I like the bunker. I like. I don't like the fact there's no marine. <laughs> it's on its Six way. Six lanes around okay. the way, but it's gonna make it. Yeah, it's gonna get there. It's gonna get in that bunker, and uh, I don't know if it's gonna be able to do uh, really do its thing. But because these lanes are a little bit late from Fat Tire, um, ooh, he's okay. like, I don't even need to go in there. I, I, I'm cocky. I can stand right outside. Care. Oh, <laughs> he saw the two lanes and ran right inside. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah. get that. With a, with one marine. Um, oh, he's got to try and get that second marine around. He's trying. Uh, not gonna happen. Yeah, he's gonna have to on. stick to one marine. Oh, might get this one drone. Yep. 
That's that's nearly paid for itself. He's lost a marine, but he's killed the drone. If he keeps on being annoying uh, and delaying the mining, that's actually probably still worth it. So uh, I, I actually really like this strat out of Canary. Really simple, really basic, but an absolute classic that uh, you really don't see that much anymore yeah. in this style anyway. And he's getting a CC! <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's a. Uh, this is a complete really change from the first game. But yeah, he he looks like a different player because I think in this game he's doing something he's comfortable with. In the previous game he was trying something a bit new, a bit funky, maybe to throw his opponent off. In this one, he knows where he sits and he feels good about it. Uh oh, he actually pulled that SCV up to scout the main, and so has no defense. Had to salvage the bunker. Eh. Well, they didn't. The denial was worth it, I think. This is a, it's six minutes into the game, and the Zerg has essentially been mining on one base. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. I mean, compare this to Canary, who's got uh, nearly as many workers as his opponent. He's got a mining natural and an orbital coming up for it. I think he could be spending his money a little bit better. I think a 3cc build might have served him well, but actually following up that cheese, we could have seen road regression. So safer is to go for what Canary's done and just wall across the front. Yeah. Simple, and safe, yeah. straightforward. And I saw a Roach Warren go down. Yeah, exactly. So, he actually did see that. Uh, but not late. Not no early enough to actually on the way or anything, so I don't think these guys are even going to get in. Even with the hole. They're trying, though. <laughs> they want to. <laughs> They're like, yeah. I need to see. I need to see. He didn't see the command center. So at least he saw that. Oh, it's by definitely the way, they, something. they said that a very beautiful woman walked across the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Is that, is, that is a scouting barracks. Canary is confirming that he's going full mech. And uh, I, I have to say, I kind of like it. What I don't like is how late it could turn up. There's a Hellion coming out of that tech lab factory. If that was a siege tank, then these roaches would be a lot less effective. But they are on their way across the map now. The barracks is going to see them, but the wall is not complete. And it really wants to be at this point in time. I think he's still going to be okay. There's only four roaches there at the second. Ah... Uh. I cannot tell. If, if he pulls he SCBs, he might bunker. do okay. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm thinking about here. The supply depot wall might be in a little bit of trouble. Yeah. Well, I mean, every little helps. And at this point, there are now tanks in production for Canary. He's actually got two factories and two starports with tech labs. Well, he has a siege tank in production now, and he's working on blue flame. He's trying to get by that bunker. Oh, there you go. Mm, just walking past. He's taking down the wall, and he's just going to walk into the back of the natural. There's not really any defense out for this yet. Vatai's going to be able to have his way with the SCVs. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, my. Big losses. Roach is Big just skipping losses. by that bunker. Now, the siege tank's out. Puts it right there, like, at the end of the ramp. All right, he's going to put it right by... That should be in range. It yeah. will be in range. Is whether the roaches now snipe it. Uh, I think they could do. I would rather have had those SCVs repairing that tank, I think, rather than just trying to be the buffer. But in this situation, I think you needed more of them anyway. Having lost so much in this initial assault, being unable to produce properly with the supply blocks that he's got. Wow, A bunch of clean this up, but the losses are massive. Yeah, how many workers were killed there? 13 workers. And that's putting Fat Tire up. Only plus four because of the aggression and the larva getting used for the roaches. But either way, I <laughs> like somebody who said blue flame versus roach fail. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, mm. Especially not if he continues one. with the roach production, the uh, blue flame is not going to be that viable unless he does a drop or two with hellbats, blue flame hellbats in the mineral lines. Well, off uh, creep without speed, it won't do too badly. Uh, hell, hellbats are pretty good, especially for defense against roaches until the point where roaches get the speed. Um, this but one's right now, it's not much. the one. <laughs> This isn't going to do nearly as much damage. No. Oh, the the tank's died, actually. Well, he may be able to deny some more mining. Yeah, getting himself in there. Uh, he's got the blue flame hellions, but they're actually just going to go out on the map, leaving the natural line a little undefended, except for these two banshees. And the roaches can't actually touch those. Good damage. Yeah. They're going to go down. Not before picking off a lot of mules, though. Yeah. Well, let's see. He's up to 17 kills now. And here there come the come. hellions. Blue oh, flame. Oh man, blue flame. This is the retaliation. Go oh. oh my. Oh goodness. Oh. Oh my. Oh I my. <laughs> oh, they're all like clustered up. Fat eye splitting just in time there. He, but uh, the damage has evened up the worker kill exactly to 17 apiece. 
Mm. Unfortunately for uh, for Canary though, actually you know what? I'm not sure because uh, Canary's got mules and a third command center halfway completed, but uh, larval production is pretty good. So depending on how well Fat Tire controls his injects, he could be ahead or behind. But the emphasis <laughs> is really on him. Mm -hmm. Third base is now up for Fat Tire. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's relying on these roaches. I'd like to see a Hydralis den. Does he have one yet? No. That would be really helpful. And then get one or two Overseers in that army, and you can totally negate the Banshees. As being a Zerg player, I'm thinking of all my Zerg strategies here <laughs> that I would yeah. be using. Yeah. That would be um, Roach Hydra's fire. pretty rarely seen, though. Yeah, he's going Spire. So yeah. That's kind I, of more of the go to. I, I really like Roach Hydra versus Terran, actually. I think it's super, super cool. It's it's like... It's quite protossy in a really strange way, because the Hydras are like your Colossi. They have this just awesome DPS in the back. Combined with Blinding Cloud for really horrible anti-bio. Mm -hmm. I'm watching all these roaches get picked off. Yeah. Banshee, good unit. Oh, he doesn't even have a spore up front. Oh, he could snipe this. Yeah. Queen can't even do anything about it. Oh my. Did he actually research cloak? Uh, no, he no. No. But he hasn't needed it. <laughs> <laughs> no, very he true. He can take this queen two on one here. Oh, there is a spore. It's it's towards the right though, and with these uh these two spines are gonna get focused down or cancelled indeed in the case of one. Getting a couple of drone kills. The Banshees are going to keep Fat Tire back in his base for at least a little while until the mutalisks actually come out. And there we have it, eleven yeah, of 11. them. Yeah. They're yep. gonna be able to kill these banshees. Not much debate yeah. about that. Not unless they go but home right now. I think he's gonna lose that third base before it matters. Uh no energy for transfuse. Yeah, fifty. Can't transfuse. Muses are almost out though. Yeah, and there it goes. Right. That was pretty close. There we go, the mutes popping just as the third base dies. Uh, the Vanshees will go down, but their work is absolutely... Oh, and they got the queen too. <sighs> well, yeah, they paid for themselves. Delayed some mining here. Mm. How many workers have been killed now? You only got three more workers out of the Banshees themselves, but he took a hatchery, so... <laughs> He did. Uh, something worth noting is that the engineering bay for Canary is only just now going down. He didn't manage to scout that spire very early and didn't build a reactive one uh, very quickly at all. So now with these mutas flying towards the main base, there's really not a lot to def Wait. I... Uh, if he I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, oh he's gonna man, fly leave the Seekers yeah. in the mineral line. <laughs> oh, don't climb oh. them up. How a many workers bit. died? Uh, not as many as mutas died. That was oh, yeah. a miscontrol and a half, losing all of the mutilists. If he just put the, the secret ones over the SCVs, that would have been amazing. Yeah. He could have killed a bunch of them for basically nothing. But with its mutilists, you can fly off, so you don't need to do that. Mm -hmm. It's not, a, not really the greatest response there. Out of Fat Tire, taking some serious hits there. Uh, attack towards the third base, kills a, kills a, kills a spore crawler. Not perhaps, not perhaps the best thing. Sport. Yeah, he's going to see that right there. <laughs> He's going for the gold base. Oh, he's going to come back for that. Nah, he's like, I have no anti-air. <laughs> and run on home. Oh, he's placed Widow Mines, Siege Tanks, Widow Mines. That was nice, actually. Great uh, Widow Mine hit, picking off one of the mutants. Oh, oh, that was nice. I didn't even know those were there. Oh, really? <laughs> no, I actually did not know those Widow Mines were under that army. I did not see them. Uh, yeah, I was, so... I was like, I think he's trying to bait them, and he did. Yeah. Lovely, lovely stuff. Widows behind the mineral lines. There's widow mines everywhere. Uh, what can Fat Tire do with these muters? Basically nothing at this point. Basically like, nothing. He's got yeah. the um, he's got the overseer, but three muters is not enough muters to pick off a widow mine before it fires and kills a mutalisk. So, uh, Thor's too. Thor's now joining the fray. This is good mech. Really nice yeah. and varied in composition. Well. There goes the gold base in a matter of seconds. Even gonna fry some eggs. <laughs> yeah, uh, they were cancelled actually, getting that money back. But uh, we haven't seen, and the the greatest response to Mech, I think, unless you got, you know, a, a good answer or you're already ahead, is to go for something like uh, swarm hosts. Unfortunately, and swarm hosts perhaps don't make always the most interesting games. But against tanks, they're pretty good. But Fat Tire doesn't have an infestation bit. He doesn't have that option available to him. So no, I think does. we're just going to see the gradual advance of Canary towards the natural, 
and Fatai is going to be hard pressed to deal with it. Yep, that creep spread's getting pushed back, so he's losing his vision. Siege tanks tearing up a few at a time. He's a. Uh... Oh boy, here we go. Oh god, oh no. Oh, good bailings actually. Seeker well, missiles. <gasps> oh my. One tank shot. Oh my goodness. And he... <laughs> what was that? Uh, that was an army trade. That's what I would call that. That was like that was terrifyingly even. Yeah, that, that was, was dead really even. unusual to see something that like. I don't know. Great hunter seeker use out of Canary, timing that really perfectly. Um, and uh, that's how it's going to chase away the remnants of this air army. The Vikings could land, but I don't think it'd be a good move. Instead, they should just go home, rejoin with yeah. the rest of the army, and wait for the next wave of reinforcements. Yeah, I'd like to see uh, Canary take a third here. It's actually flying little... out now. Oh, there. Yep, I see it. Okay, good. So he is taking a third. Yeah, I'd like to see him take a fourth and a fifth. Um, I don't think a third is enough at this point in the game. He's going to be mined oh, out of his natural in not very long at all. He needs more command. Oh, centers. no. The roaches. <sighs> oh, actually, it wasn't as bad that time for him. Wow. There are widow mines just everywhere. Where is the overseer? <laughs> Where is uh, it's jamming above that little post in the natural uh, for Canary. Oh, there it is. Next to the mutas that are useless. Got it. <laughs> yep. Of course. Where else would it possibly be? Uh, uh, <laughs> You just want to do some but there's a there's an oh, eight found an angle. Yeah, the damage. That's true. Oh, good seekers again on the roaches, and this time siege tanks are going to take care of things. See, sometimes not being in siege mode is more beneficial. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, they have higher DPS, higher. but not splash. Mm -hmm. That's it. Now, I'd like to also see. Do we got one one on the way for Canary? We got plus one attack, but he's turning out the siege tanks and the Vikings now. Alright, third base is up. He did a huge mule dump. That's ten mules. What's his income? Oh, um, okay. <laughs> All over the place. Around 23, 24, 25, 26, almost three. <laughs> I saw it go as high as 3,200 uh, for a moment then. But speaking of that little uh, statistic area now, uh, Fat Tire is 5,000 resources behind and resources lost. It's true. So, Next. and the base count is even now. You do see that Fat Tire is trying to steal Canary's gold. Yeah, the the balls on this Zerg are pretty spectacular, <laughs> and I think you'll get away with it. Is the dumb thing because it's not really where you'd scout as a Terran player. It's not where you're going to look. You're not going to go. Yeah. I know where he's gone. It's yeah, my until, gold base. <laughs> until he takes that base, he's not even going to look over here. No. Oh, that's that's you pinging now. Yeah, that's just me. Every time. Okay. It's me. I okay. hope Alt G is one of my keys while I'm talking, <laughs> in case something interesting comes up. That's fair enough, actually. That means that everyone can see what's going on. Mm-hmm. Yep. As long as yeah. the players can't see it. Which they can't. I know they can't. Um, so yeah, this is... Uh, where? Oh, well, yeah. Okay, I'm looking over here. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, that Vikings should get back involved just to clean these two Vikings up. Yeah, that'll do it. And there you go. I mean, Vikings aren't supposed to be that good against Mutalisks, but that does assume superior numbers. Uh, Vikings outrange, but Mutas outspeed. So the Mutas burst in and just shoot down a bunch of Vikings with their not splash attack. Uh, other than that, whilst Ascended lags out briefly, um, <laughs> I really like this position that we've seen uh, Canary take up with this missile turret here that's going to grant him detection even without the Ravens. Taking this uh, station in the middle of the map means that if his Zerg opponent attempts to push out to anywhere other than uh, the location that he's actually already he scanned it, I'm really surprised he scanned that. Uh, because it doesn't really make a whole bunch of sense, but scanning that is going to enable him to just kill off his base. That's the risk of taking a goal on your opponent's side of the map. Uh, decent engagement here, actually, for uh, for Fat Tire. Hunter Seeker's going down there. He doesn't pull it out. He never oh, got it. Yeah, yeah, he got it out. Even so, I think this Roach Force is going to clean up. It's not going to be able to kill off the Banshees, uh, but it's still great damage to the actual ground-based Mech Force. But he, yeah, no go. He didn't turn around to go take out the Hatchery. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was wondering. <laughs> oh, he, he forgot briefly what he actually came over there for. He's like, what? What? Oh, yeah. Huh. Get out of my base. Boom. I love how Blue Flame Hellbats just roast up Larva in like one second. 
where Marines would have to sit there for like three minutes to kill a larva off. Yeah, it's uh. Oh, he probably lost my screen region again, didn't he? Quite possibly. I love these wooden mines sat on the uh, on the Zelnaga. They don't hold the Zelnaga, obviously, but what they do do is they mean that if you if you uh, your opponent tries to take it, it's not happening. One muter harassing SCVs towards the third, but there's a huge engagement going towards fat tires. It's impossible to number these bases. Uh, a load of hellbats coming in, and I think no, he's just forcing him to split too much with the ravens. He's trying to get it the splash on the Terran. Yeah, That's he got smart. most of the Hellions except yeah. for one. That's smart. Yeah, I love, I love how he thinks, but I don't think it's enough. He's just taken so much damage already. Uh, Canary, with this Thor left alive, again that this force might get cleaned up, but Canary's on better worker supply, better army supply. He's making units all the time, and he's spending his money really well. Fat Tire is just losing worker after worker after worker. Yeah, he is. And what's amazing is the upgrade advantage goes to Fat Tire. Yeah, a little bit. Not able to make it work for him. Yeah. Defense yeah, upgrades aren't that great against mech, actually. Just because every mech unit hits so hard and so infrequently that they don't really do all that much. Because, like, if you're knocking four damage off a siege tank splash shot, it's still hitting you for 51. Mm -hmm. And there you go. GG. It's going to be our orange Terran player with no clan tag. Canary. And his opponent in the top left, in pink, in this 1 1 series from Clan Anna Kendrick. That tire. All right. You know. You know what surprises me the most? Thinking back to that last game, was the. Uh, well, first of all, I want to make sure I reference that. But um, secondly, <laughs> worth referencing. Yeah, I want to reference that. But was that early roach push from uh, flat tire? Or Fat Tire. Yeah, I'm going to get that wrong all day. Fat Tire. Is, he did a lot of damage. If he had been able to keep the Hellions out of his base, which even the score with the uh, workers killed, yeah. I, I really felt that was going his way. He, so many killed. Uh, it, I don't know. It really it just, should have been. Um, he walled off a little bit sloppily across the front of his natural and uh, if he'd had some queens in that wall the hellions would have been able to get in but they would have struggled there weren't really enough queens produced because of the hatchery denial but you can mm -hmm. actually uh, you can actually still keep producing queens on a hatchery because a bunker isn't going to kill them fast enough so uh, maybe in future he'll go for that kind of more aggressive creepy style that more kind of because you're on one base anyway you can't take anything else might as well all right let's take a guess here this reaper from this proxy is excellent. The timing is excellent because the hatchery went first. Um, queen's not coming out for a while, and even if some links come out, you can kite them. How many workers are going to die here from this first reaper? It really depends on how well Fat Tire responds. I am going to say five. I'm going to call five, five worker killed. Which would be phenomenal. It would be this early very, in the game. very good. I mean, the pool's not even done yet. Queen's not even viable. Zerglings aren't even viable. All he can do is run like hell. Which yes. is exactly what he's doing. Well, the pool's just completed, and I'm sure we'll see some lings in production. No queen first. I don't disagree with that, but I think we're going to see Reapers just pumped out. Uh, just keeping going. This is essentially a Reaper all-in. And uh, having just remembered how it works, I'm going to take my estimate up. Oh, the denial! See, the I mean, even if he forces down. some spores or spines, that's... That's yeah. that many less workers. It, you're, yeah, exactly. I mean, hopefully he'll cancel it. Ideally, he should. There's two more on the way. I actually think yeah, Canary four is the number to kill outright. a queen. This is this is scary, this scary is four. Tire. with oh, no gas as well. Goodness. Yeah, and he could work on this queen a bit because he's got two more coming. Mm -hmm. Oh my! Duh. Soften it up now while he has a chance. Whilst it's off creep as well, really, really nice. It's not engaging with the Zergling, so the Reapers can just keep kiting against those. The micro oh, is good from Canary. 
Oh boy. This is Save really strong. Save the fourth strong. Reaper. Oh boy, that queen's in trouble. And I think yeah. he knows it. This is really strong stuff. Trying to focus down that weakened one, but slight miss micro, not quite getting it. And now it's regenerating. Oh! Queen's gone down. What has he got left? Oh my goodness. Eight more lings around the way. A spine's coming down somewhere. Okay, in the main. Lings have no chance. And that's going to be it for the drone workers over here. Even if he gets surrounded, it won't matter. No, more Reapers coming across the map. Got to focus down this spine crawler before it's able to finish. And, and back at home, there's an orbital coming down for Canary, so he's going to be able to transition out of this eventually. If he needs to. Yeah, exactly. He's safe even if he's all in. It's, he's done the damage, basically. He's done all the damage he needs to do. Yeah, he's killed 15 workers so far at the six-minute mark of the game. I actually just think he's going to win the game outright with this. It's so, so strong, and he's caught his opponent totally off guard. This hatchery first build, brave, and in this instance, on this oh two-spot map, not what he needed. There you go. Oh, my goodness. Just like the first set, the person that won the first game did not win the series.